A volte vengono usati per guardare le cose da una nuova prospettiva, altre volte come semplice passatempo, altre ancora invece come strumenti di morte. C'è invece chi li utilizza per fare del bene. Parliamo dei droni e di Evi, una startup con sede qui ad Amsterdam che li assembla e li progetta per salvaguardare l'ambiente e salvare vite. Ai microfoni di Pop Economy ce ne parla il fondatore di Evi, Patrick P. Zaman. So with Evi we build drones with wings. Uh, and we use these drones to support emergency services uh, like the fire brigade, the ambulance, police and search and rescue operators. And so they're all life-saving applications and why we do this is because with a, a drone with wings we can fly around 10 times as far, 10 times as fast and 10 times as long. So the mission of AV is actually to unlock the skies. Uh, I think that the sky offers so much more potential than just the normal airplanes that we currently use. We can use it to well, actually save lives. And during an incident uh, or accident like a fire, a wildfire, a hurricane, tsunami, tornado, or an accident on the, uh, on the highway, urgency uh, is super important. The, 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 the faster you can be at the location, the better uh, you can support. And I think that the sky offers a great opportunity there. So when we develop these drones with wings, uh, we made them in such a way that they can get to almost any location within just a couple of minutes to give support there. Uh, whether it's uh, supporting with image, uh, for example, with a heat camera, or to bring medicine, everything is possible with uh, the use of drones. Ma quali sono le peculiarità e qual è la tecnologia alla base di questi velivoli di ultima generazione? What we develop is actually a combination of these technologies. We take off vertically and land vertically like a drone does, but we use our wings to fly horizontally as well. And that is a lot more efficient. When you fly that long, you can stay in the air for hours and you can get to places where otherwise you could not get before. The aircraft is electric, so it doesn't uh, use fossil fuels and therefore it has uh, uh, no emissions. Also a very important part is that uh, the AV aircraft is flying fully autonomous. So there is no joystick, there is uh, no steering wheel, it, it all does the flight by itself. The only thing we have to do is tell the aircraft where to go to and it will um, decide uh, the fly, flight path automatically. And because of this autonomous uh, system, it can deploy way faster. And that, as I said, is very important in case of an incident. So this is not just a normal aircraft. I would say it's more like a flying computer. It has a lot of technology to see other airspace users, uh, to make sure that it, it doesn't collide find its own way, do its own maneuver, land autonomously and all these other things. Questi droni innovativi hanno molte applicazioni e sono già stati usati come supporto in diverse situazioni di emergenza, con velocità e precisione straordinaria. We really focus on the emergency services and that means that you can use the drones, for example, uh, whenever there is a fire to fly out to the incident before the fire truck and the firemen even arrive on the scene. So that they can already, when they are on the way, see on their tablets, on their devices from above where the fires are located, if there are people in the scene that maybe are in danger, if there are explosive materials or toxic gases. Uh, uh, and so forth. Another application that we can uh, use the aircraft for is for medical deliveries. So here in the Netherlands, for example, we have a lot of medical deliveries that need to go from hospital to patient or from a pharmacy to a hospital. Uh, we have the National Blood Bank that makes sure that the right type of blood is being delivered on time to other uh, patients or hospitals. We do projects in Africa uh, for example, in Benin, an African country where we are delivering blood to uh, women uh, that are living very remotely in the middle of nowhere that are giving birth. So uh, when the delivery, when they lose a lot of blood, now they can get new blood and that way uh, we can help them uh, survive. 
So many applications uh, that you can use these drones for. Tra le situazioni più critiche in cui è stata coinvolta la compagnia c'è sicuramente quella legata al periodo più drammatico dell'emergenza Covid. One of the interesting things the last two years was of course can we help during Covid or with Covid and one of the interesting things is that uh, we can use the aircraft to transport vaccines as well. We can also use the aircraft to transport tests, for example, uh, for, for COVID tests and so on. At the same time, for us, it wasn't always easy because we were restricted in traveling. So at some point we were doing a project in Africa for the delivery of vaccines um, against Ebola. And then we had the Corona outbreak and we had to stop the project for Ebola because we needed to go back to the Netherlands. So it, it wasn't always easy, but at the same time, we do see there's a lot of advantages in well, bringing these vaccines to pe uh, people that, that need them. And that way we can support healthcare and therefore also the well-being of, uh, of people all around uh, the globe. In pochi anni la startup è cresciuta in modo considerevole e ha perfezionato una tecnologia che sta dando grandi risultati. Ma in cantiere ci sono ancora molti progetti e aspirazioni che potrebbero portare la compagnia ancora più in alto. We uh, are on the path on making sure that we uh, develop aircraft that are larger every time so we can transport more things, more logistics, more cargo and at some point start going into the field of helicopters. Uh, because I think that if you have a very noisy, a very polluting helicopter and you can change that for an alternative that is environmentally friendly, that is quiet, that is cheaper and that is flying autonomous, it would be a way better solution. So there we have to go.